Right now, I'm going to pray the prayer of faith for those of you who are out there who've been raped, molested, sexually abused, by my witchcraft, by my evil spirits. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ, who the Son had set free. You will be free indeed when you receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, ye shall receive power. Who's the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ who wants to come in spirit form to come upon you and in you to give you power to overcome depression. Uh, so God can clean those drugs out of your body, out of your system. Take the taste of alcohol and drugs and marijuana out of your nose, out of your mouth. Because when Jesus come on the inside, the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, well, I feel the Holy Ghost, you don't need to take no drug overdose. If any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creature. Old things are passed away. Well, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. When he does a transformation on the inside, depression got to go. I'm not saying the devil won't fight you with depression because you try to send it back because we're still living in life where we deal with ups and downs and problems and circumstances. But when you got the Holy Ghost, he'll give you power to tell the demons of depression, I'm too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. God will give you power to tell the demons of depression, you may try to annoy, but God give me power to keep my joy. Uh, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Oh, praise God for the Prince of Peace. I want to teach you not only just to pray, but to obey. That's deep. Because everybody's prayers, God doesn't always answer in honor because a lot of us are not obeying. A lot of us are praying, but are we obeying? That's a good question. God doesn't respond to everybody's prayers because everybody is not ready to give up certain things. Uh, when you follow Jesus, certain things you got to give up. A lot of folk not ready to give up committing adultery. A fornicators, but hurry with the judge is the truth. The Bible says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This also applies to my life. If it don't apply, then let it fly. Uh, a lot of people are not ready to give up that old boyfriend or, or that old girlfriend who don't love Jesus, or you want to hold on to the world and serve the Lord at the same time, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, this is not Burger King. Have it your way. No, when you serve the king of kings, I'm not talking about Burger King. It must be God's way, not your way. I'd rather have it God's way because God's way is the best way. Oh, hallelujah. He said, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Uh, the Bible says uh, that the ways of sin is death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Ah, but, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Santa Claus cannot give you that gift because Santa Claus ain't nothing but the devil. Santa Claus means Satan want to grip you in his claws. You ain't never heard Santa Claus even talk about Jesus because he has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. But Jesus said, I come to deliver you from the devil's claws. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't need to take no drug overdose. Woo! I praise God for the Prince of Peace. Ain't nothing like having a peace of mind. God want to give you a peace of mind. That don't mean, that means you don't got to smoke no weed. God is all we need. Ah. I praise God for the Prince of Peace because marijuana, drugs will mess you up. Let God give you a hug. You don't need no drugs. God's love will set you free from drugs. Just repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. I am a believer. Yahshua HaMashiach. The Hebrew name for Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. Repent and be baptized. The world must repent. There's too much wickedness going on in the world. People are making pacts with the devil, even in Hollywood, for fame and fortune. Ah, oh, but Jesus said, what profits a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mark chapter 8, verse number 36. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Ah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God because he's coming again. Ah, you can see the signs of the time. Ah, the Bible talks about perilous times shall come. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, when men shall be lovers of themselves, proud, boasters, blasphemous, disobedient to parents. We're living in days when men who wants to be women and women who wants to be men. Not me. I like being a man. God made man to be masculine and God made woman to be feminine. 
But we're living in days now the woman wants to be masculine now and the men wants to be feminine. But that's not how God ordained it. Two men cannot make a baby. Two women cannot produce children. God ordained for a man and a woman to get married and be fruitful and multiply. Someone said, but preacher, why I, do Jesus love gays? Yes, he loved gays, but he hate the ways. Just like, no, I'm not gay, but I'm straight. What I do wrong, God hates my ways. See, God loves a person, but he hates the wicked ways. We all was born in sin because of Adam and Eve. We cast out the garden of Eve because of their disobedience. So every baby that was born was born under the curse of sin. So they offered up land's blood under the law of Moses. Under the law of Moses. God gave Moses 613 commandments according to the Hebrew Torah. Although we only talk about 10 commandments. But ever since Jesus Christ came when he was baptized by John the Baptist in the river of Jordan. Hallelujah. When he came out the water, he said, behold, oh, the Lamb of God. Whoa, hallelujah, who take us away the sins of the world. Ha, I feel Jesus. Jesus made it easier when he took our place to redeem us from our sins. He said, I laid down my life and I took it back up again. He arose from the dead the third day morning after he said it was finished. On the tree, on the cross. He gave up the ghost. When they buried him in the tomb, when they buried him in the tomb, on the third day morning, he got up from the dead. His body is not dead. The bones are not there. Jesus has risen from the dead. Now we can go directly to Jesus Christ. Don't have to go to a high priest like they did under the law of Moses. So you who go and do a high, to a high priest in the Catholic Church, no. A lot of the high priest needs to go to see the real priest. That's Jesus Christ. He can, heal, he can save you. He can heal you because he loves you. Now God can teach you how to love yourself. For how can you love your neighbor if you don't first love yourself? God wants you to love you. Don't be full of yourself, but love yourself. I hate the wrong that I do, so I say, Lord, forgive me for doing wrong. I love myself, but I hate the wrong I do. So that's why God wants us to repent. You'd be surprised how God will bless you. You'd be surprised how God will deliver you. He said, I will bless you. He said, if you keep my holy word, I make you the head and not the tail. Whoa, hallelujah. I make you above only and not beneath. Whoa, hallelujah. Thank you, Yahshua HaMashiach. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Are we perfect? No. Nobody's perfect. Only one perfect is God. But thank God for a loving and merciful God if you're willing to repent. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. I praise God for the Prince of Peace. Let's pray, say a prayer right now for those of you who got molested and raped and sexually abused. God can save a drug addict and get him out of the attic and make him a preacher. God can save a drug dealer when you're calling the faith healer. Jesus Christ, who can save you from drugs. That when the Lord come on the inside, you got no more taste for drugs. Hallelujah. You got no more taste for cigarettes. Now God can deliver you from smoking. Now you can stop choking because cigarettes will give you lung cancer. Cigarettes can give you a heart attack. That wonderful body that God has given you is not for cigarettes. That beautiful body that God has given you is not for smoking. If you need, deliver, if you need deliverance from smoking, Jesus can set you free right now. Just say, Lord, set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. He can set you free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. He can set you free and work a miracle for you. I'm so glad Jesus can set me free. Singing glory, hallelujah. He can set you free. He can set you free. Now God want to give you power to stay free. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. The Greek word for power is doing us. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. They received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. Acts chapter number two. Up in the upper room when suddenly there came a sound as a mighty rushing wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting at. It sat upon each of them and they was all filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus came on the inside and in the transformation, they began to speak with other tongues, cloven tongues, divided tongues. They spoke in other people's languages. It was Jews. We spoke in Hebrew, but they begin to speak in other people's languages. 
The people from all the countries heard the Jews speaking and their languages and thought they was drunk with new wine. Yes, they had new wine, but it was not ginger red. It was not Jack Daniels. It was not corn liquor. It was a Holy Ghost woo, that made them drunk. I'm talking about the new wine, which is the Holy Ghost. John the Baptist said, I baptize you, you with water. But he that cometh after me shall baptize with you with the fire and with the Holy Ghost. Woo! The fire of the Holy Ghost will burn up drugs. The fire of the Holy Ghost will burn up depression. The fire, fire of the Holy Ghost will make demons run out of your house. The fire of the Holy Ghost will make the witches and the warlocks leave you alone. And God will tell them, there's no weapon that's formed against you. Huh? That shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He give you joy. And when you got no money in the bank, ah, you're not worried because you know God will take care of you. God will provide. Come on, get some high five on YouTube land and say, God will provide when you got no food in the refrigerator. God is better than a smooth operator. I feel Jesus. He'll take care of you, but faith without works is dead. We cannot expect God to do everything for us. God gave us a conscience to know right from wrong. Faith without works is dead. So we draw nigh unto God and we do our part. That's when God will draw nigh unto us, where we obedient. That's the key word, obedient. Ha. Being obedient to his word. Pray and obey. Live holy every day. Ah, I heard the Lord told me this morning, he said, live holy. I know it's temptation that comes, but God will help us to live holy. If you fall, get back up. You can make it. When you slip, you can get back up. And Jesus will hold you by his hands. Because he said, my grace is sufficient for thee. And my strength is made perfect and weakness. Remain a flame of fire. Flame of fire. Flame of fire, which is the Holy Ghost. God is setting somebody free from the flashbacks of being raped. Many of you was in sex trafficking. You was abused as a child. You was ejected. I know, I know you have a hard time forgiving. I know it's hard to forgive people who digs you wrong. But God is going to help you forgive even right now. Forgiving does not mean to connect. But you can forgive so you don't allow your past to bind you and keep you in chains from going on in the future. Because God has a great plan for your life. I said God has a great plan for your life. You may not see it, but God got a great plan for your life. Don't let the devil sidetrack you. Stay in God's word. He said, abide in my words. And let my words abide in you. He said, seek and he shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Along you in God's will. As long you obey God's word, as long you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, 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 and acceptable unto God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Tell yourself you're too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. So when the devil tells you to commit suicide, Tell the devil, you a liar. I'm going to stay on fire. I'm not going to let you cause me to go to hell fire. I came too far to turn back now. I'm not going back to Egypt. I'm not going to die in the wilderness, but I'm going to get to the promised land. A milk and honey. Heaven. With no more dying. Heaven. With no more sickness. Heaven. Where it's holy. Oh, he said, be holy for I am holy. When you present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy, 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 holy. And acceptable unto God. Now we can make heaven our home. So in case God calls your name, God will take you right into paradise. God don't want to see nobody go to hell. We have enough hell here on earth. There's a place called paradise. I want to be with Jesus when he comes back. He said, Jesus said, I am the way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The truth and the life. Oh, hallelujah. No man comes to the Father but by me. He's the door. He's the answer. You can have a conversation with God right now. And say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Forgive me for my sins. I repent. Lord, wash me. Lord, forgive me for my sins. If I thought evil thoughts, Lord, forgive me. 
Tell each other I'm sorry if you did each other wrong. Humble yourself. If my people, which are called by my name, <laughs> shall humble themselves and pray. I got to be humble. I got to stay humble. I don't want to get dignified. I don't want to become arrogant. There are too many preachers have became arrogant and dignified. The same God who blessed me is the same God who can bring me back down. I got to stay humble. I don't get my head all swell up. I'm not better than nobody. God is better than me. And I owe my life to God and all the mistakes I have made in my life. We all make mistakes. But forgive yourself because God has already forgave you because he loves you. When father don't love you, God loves you. When mother don't love you, God loves you. God got a great plan for your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God got a great plan for your life. May God embrace you with his love today. Love one another. Pray one for another. Bless each other. And let's not hate each other. God bless y'all today. Hallelujah. See, God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Ain't nothing racist about me. I hate wicked ways. I don't hate skin complexion. It's the wicked ways that makes us bad. God wants to turn from my wicked ways. Hallelujah, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It didn't say he liked slavery. It didn't say he loved racism. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world ha, to condemn the world. Praise the Lord, but that the world through him might be saved. Thank God for the Prince of Peace who paid the price on the tree to wash away our sins so you don't no longer have to see a priest like they did under the law of Moses. You can confess your sins directly to God. Jesus is now our high priest. According to Hebrews chapter number three, he can wash away our sins with his precious blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus can wash away your sins. He's doing it right now when you receive him. God bless you.